with you. We're looking at 81 for a high in Syracuse. This is before those storms rolled through. So this is probably around 1, 2 o'clock is when we hit 81 degrees. Fulton got to 83 and even the cool spots, if that's what you want to call them, they were in the mid to upper 70s. An incredible day. Uh, this is not record breaking, by the way. The record for today is actually 91 or just plain 90. It's not 91, just 90. So it was pretty close, though. Now, because we had all of that extra heat to play with and all that energy, some storms that rolled through did end up being severe with very strong winds and causing some damage. In Syracuse, we got a little bit of rain and that was pretty much it. Same goes for a lot of places up to the north, but that was not the uh, case in Trumansburg where there are currently trees down. Down. Uh, down in Peruville, there are small trees and branches down on a road. In Virgil, two small trees down on some wires. But I think the hardest hit areas with the strongest wind gusts are just off to the east of here. Uh, and most of them are in Shenango County where there are trees and wires down on Route 220 and some trees and wires down in Norwich. Uh, the emergency management uh, in Shenango County has a Twitter account. They've been trying to keep customers updated as well. So make sure uh, you check out them as well. Triple Doppler Radar brought to you by Mercedes-Benz of Syria. Syracuse. We have dried out quite a bit. Those showers are down to the south and east. They are long gone. I'm a little concerned for some of these places still hanging out in the 70s like Syracuse. If we do see any more pop up activity, we may be able to sustain a, uh, uh, to sustain a shower or two through the evening, but most of us are completely dry all evening long, and it's because colder air is moving through. That's a cold front that moved through with those showers and thunderstorms, and that means we cool down quite a bit for the day tomorrow. We won't be bitter cold. We're not expecting snow, but it'll feel a lot different from the 80s and 70s that we've been seeing most of today. So cloud cover takes over as we head into the overnight. We may see some breaks of sunshine by early tomorrow morning, but cloud cover up to the north will be especially stubborn. Lows will be in the mid 40s, so we drop very quickly from the 70s where we are now into the 40s overnight. Temperatures struggle tomorrow. Thanks to a strong northwesterly wind, it'll be very breezy all day long. That's going to keep us on the cool side, even as we look at increasing sunshine through the afternoon. So highs will mainly be in the mid to low 50s tomorrow. When you compare noon temperatures from today and tomorrow, there could be a 25 to 30 degree difference in some places in central New York. So that's a really big swing, uh, a little bit of a shock to the system tomorrow, but we do stay mostly dry. Tuesday, area wide sunshine, beautiful day in the 60s. New rain arrives Wednesday into Thursday, and it may be heavy at times, especially Wednesday night. Then we'll cool down for the